Okay, we have to solve the following differential equation solution. This is a Bernoulli differential equation. You can tell because you have a y squared here. And this is the general form of a Bernoulli. Let me write it down. dy dx plus p of x y equals f of x times y to the n. So that's the general form of a Bernoulli differential equation. So in this case, you can see that n is 2. Now, you'll notice the y squared is not on the right-hand side. So what we'll do is we'll subtract the y squared from both sides. We want that to be over here. And we want the xy to be over here. So we'll subtract the xy. So we end up with x squared dy dx minus xy equals minus y squared. We're almost where we want to be, but we have to divide everything by x squared. So we have dy dx. Dividing this by x squared gives us negative 1 over x, y, and then over here we have negative 1 over x squared, y squared. That looks okay. We divided everything by x squared, so divided this by x squared, checks. Divided this by x squared, checks. Divided this by x squared, checks. It's really easy to mess up in these problems, so it's not a good idea to rush it like we're doing now. Okay, the next step is to make a substitution. So here n is equal to 2. You get that from here. And the substitution is always u equals y to the 1 minus n. In this case, n is 2, so you get y to the 1 minus 2. So you get y to the negative 1. The next step, solve for y. Really important. Not y factorial, that's an exclamation mark. Okay, it's gone. Solve for y. All right, so u is equal to 1 over y. Multiply by y, divide by u, so y is equal to 1 over u. Now take the derivative, dy dx. The derivative of 1 over u is negative 1 over u squared. And then chain rule, du dx. All right, at this point, we're going to substitute y and dy dx into our differential equation. After we do that, it's going to become a linear differential equation. And we can solve it using the methods we use for first order linear differential equations. All right, be really careful in this step. So dy dx, it's right here, is going to be this. All right, so this is negative 1 over u squared du dx. Negative 1 over x, that stays the same. We're not doing anything with that. y is 1 over u, so this is 1 over u, equals negative 1 over x squared and y squared is 1 over u squared because y is 1 over u. All right, the next step is where most of the mistakes often happen. Um, so let's be really, really careful. So what we'll do here is we'll multiply both sides by, well, we want to make this linear. Let me see if I can erase this line. Let's see. Oh, look, it erases. Okay, so we want to multiply both sides by, well, we need to get rid of this. So we'll multiply by negative u squared, right? That gets rid of the negative and it gets rid of the fractions. It's helpful to write it down. Uh, if you try to do it all in your head, you might mess up. So when we multiply this first term, we just get du dx. That wasn't bad. Now we have to multiply this by negative u squared, so it's going to be plus 1 over x u. And over here we multiply by negative u squared right here, and so in this case we get 1 over x squared. Negative and negative is positive. Now we have to find the integrating factor because this is a linear differential equation. Hooray! This is e to the integral of 1 over x dx. So it's e to the natural log of the absolute value of x. So it's e to the ln x. We can just assume x is positive. And so we get x. So our integrating factor is x. Multiply everything by x. So we get x du dx plus x times 1 over x is 1. So we get plus u equals and then x times 1 over x squared is 1 over x. Very, very nice. Okay, so now this is linear. And as you know, after you multiply the integrating factor, the beautiful thing is that the derivative of our integrating factor, which is x, times our unknown function u, is precisely the left-hand side. We can check. 
the derivative of the first piece, which is x, is 1 times the second plus the first times the derivative of u, which is right here. So the product rule does certainly check out. And this is equal to 1 over x. Integrate both sides. When you integrate the left-hand side, you just get x times u. And over here, you get the natural log of the absolute value of x plus some constant, which we'll call c1. All right, now to finish, we have to recall that u was 1 over y. So recall, u was 1 over y. So x over y, because u is 1 over y, is equal to the natural log of the absolute value of x plus c1. Now, how far do we keep going? Can we solve this for y? Sure, we can multiply both sides by y and divide by this, but um, let's do something different. Let's exponentiate both sides, because everyone loves doing that. So when you do that, this is the exponent. So here you get e to the x over y equals e to the natural log of the absolute value of x times e to the c1. Remember, this is just the properties of exponents, right? e to the ln absolute value of x times e to the c1 is e to the ln absolute value of x plus c1. Just like x squared times x cubed is x to the 2 plus 3. Same thing. Okay, um, at this point, we have e to the x over y equals e to the c1 times the absolute value of x. Now we'll drop the absolute value. Here's the, the cool part. This is why I wanted to do it this way. So we get e to the x over y equals, well, the absolute value of x is positive x if x it's, is x if x is greater than or equal to 0, and it's negative x if x is less than 0. So here we'll get a plus or minus e to the c1 times x. So we'll just call it c. So e to the x over y is equal to c times x, where c is equal to plus or minus e to the c1. And that's it. That was a really long problem. Um, most Bernoulli DEs take a little bit of work. Um, take your time when you're doing these. Take your time. And that's it.